The State Department is concerned that Russian forces are trying to gain control of biological research facilities within Ukraine. Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs, Victoria Newland told the Senate Foreign Relations Committee on Tuesday that the United States is now quite concerned that the Russian troops may be seeking to gain control of the facilities, so they are working with the Ukrainians on how they can prevent any of those research materials from falling into the hands of Russian forces should they approach. Her admission came as her Florida Republican Senator Marco Rubio asked her if Ukraine has chemical or biological weapons. Following her response, the senator claimed that there was a Russian plan putting out disinformation that they, and I quote, uncovered a plot by Ukrainians to release biological weapons in the country and with NATO's coordination. Should such an attack take place in Ukraine, Newland said, there is, and I quote, no doubt in my mind that Russia would be behind it and called a planned move a classic Russian technique to blame on the other guy what they're planning to do themselves. Neither the State Department nor the Pentagon responded to requests for more information about these facilities. Already during the fighting, Russian forces converged on the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in Anahoda in Ukraine. A Russian projectile hit the plant, situated in the southeastern part of the country early Friday morning, igniting a localized fire that resulted in widespread concern of a radiological disaster even though the fears never materialized. Russian forces control the plant and have also overrun the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. In a recent update, the International Atomic Energy Agency expressed concern about workers who have been held against their will working for days on end at these facilities. The organization's Director General Rafael Grossi said, I'm deeply concerned about the difficult and stressful situation facing staff at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant and the potential risks this entails for nuclear safety. I call on the forces in effective control of the site to urgently facilitate the safe rotation of personnel there. Would like to know your thoughts and responses, share them in the comments down below. And also, share this news and support us through subscribing to our channel. Stay tuned for the real stuff on Next News Hour.